If you want to solve inverse problems, then you will need inverse pins. But first, what is inverse problems and how it is related to inverse pins? First, inverse problems are problems that involves determining the underlying causes or parameters of a system or process from observed data. So you will have the they will have the data and you are trying you are trying to predicting what is the parameters that causes data. So this is the inverse problem, but now how to do this solution? How can we get the data or from the data understanding or determining what is the parameters responsible about these data? Well, we use inverse pins, as I said, and inverse pins uh, uh, is an inverse physics informed neural network, which is a machine learning approach that combines neural networks with physical laws to solve inverse problems. It is used to infer the underlying parameters or properties of a system, which is the inverse problem. So it has many applications. One of the application of inverse pins is, for example, predicting the viscosity of a fluid, uh, let's say in, um, in a, a Kármán vortex. A Kármán vortex is a phenomena that uh, causes the flow to alternate as it, as it uh, flows around a buffed body, for example, a cylinder. Such uh, phenomena is important as usually, in, say, in engineering or in, in more specifically civil engineering, we don't like to have such flow around the building as it might cause the building to vibrate or even collapse. So if we have the data or PIV data of the fluid, uh, which is the uh, particle image uh, uh, velocimetry data, in which we can see the flow movement and we can get the flow velocities, we can actually use these velocity um, direction in, in, in the X direction and in the uh, Y direction to actually build a model to predict or build an IPINS model to predict the viscosity of the fluid and later of course solve the whole uh, system that including pressures and uh, any other uh, parameters that we need to calculate that uh, the viscosity is a missing parameter to do it. In this course we are going to learn inverse pins. We will start by first uh, revising the, the general concept around uh, uh, I, uh, around uh, PyTorch, in which we need to know how to code uh, using PyTorch. After that, what we will do is we will compute the uh, fluid phenomena uh, using uh, or a specific 1D uh, Berger's equation uh, using a finite difference method with a central uh, difference uh, scheme we will find out that this scheme might not solve the uh, Berger's equation up to a certain uh, uh, time uh, domain because of uh, a discontinuity that might happen or that will happen and then the solution uh, or the solver fails. So we will use another method which is the TVD scheme to solve the such method and build the data needed for training the inverse pins problem. After that, what we will do is we will use this data to actually solve the inverse pins uh, problem and we will compute the, um, the missing uh, parameter. For example, in the, in the Berger's equation, it will be viscosity. Uh, we will compare. We will compare between the results of I pins for a specific problem, the results of pins and even the results, of course, of TVD data. Followed by that, we will uh, go a little bit higher uh, regarding the equation complexity, and we will model the vortex problem or the Kármán vortex uh, problem uh, using inverse uh, pins with application of deep XDE uh, code. This way, we will calculate the viscosity of the fluid 
let's work together to learn IPENS, understand its theory, and get the skills needed to write our inverse pins uh, problems using PyTorch as well as XDE.